What's good, y'all? It's Akira here, back with another video. So, guys, we're going to be talking about a Clubhouse app today. If you haven't heard about it, if you're on Facebook or any other social media, people are talking about it, okay? And before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know that I will be giving away three Clubhouse invites. Um, and why you need an invite is because Clubhouse right now is in beta testing, so it's not open to the public. So, the only way that you can get in is either be invited or be put on their waiting list and that your turn comes up on the list so let's get into it so what is clubhouse before we get into all of that and i have a little definition right here that's why i'm looking down but clubhouse is an exclusive invite only audio app where participants can move around virtual room discussing arts culture popular tv entrepreneurship um the state of the music industry chat with celebrities and all types of things so clubhouse is a super exciting app There's there's so much that you can learn from there there's so much that you can teach from there there's room you can rub noses with celebrities and have that like more close feeling because you hear their voices while you're in a room you can uh commingle i had a brain fart there you can commingle with um ceos founders of huge multi-million companies you can even meet the smallest etsy owner on clubhouse so it's a great 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 app but there are a few pros and cons and i think it's a few ways that you can navigate this app um, and make it work out for you whether it's personal relationship business however okay guys so clubhouse like i said i gave you a little definition there i'll show you what it looks like here um so this is the clubhouse um what do you call it um interface yeah interface so this is the clubhouse interface and how it works is like you have a profile and you put your information on your profile your other social media links what you do all that good stuff i recommend putting a professional picture and just keeping it cute on your profile and also make sure your credentials are what you are like don't say you are a multi-million dollar youtuber and you only have 10 subscribers like just be honest because the honesty is going to help you grow your network more than it is trying to inflate what your status is or not status but what you can do what you know who you are tip for me to you um so yeah clubhouse is really great um one thing i would say is definitely be in the right rooms like you can be in rooms with celebrities they can talk about funny things like there's been rooms with like kevin hart and 21 savage um meek mill is on clubhouse a lot but you kind of hear his little drama stuff after the fact um so there's a lot of people on clubhouse oprah's on clubhouse they won't tell you what her profile name is but she's on there so if you ever hear oprah in a room that's definitely her um so yeah just be in the right rooms i'm gonna show you here some of the rooms that come up for me because i'm a part of like entrepreneurship groups uh women empowerment interior design real estate those are the type of rooms that you'll see on my homepage because that's the type of stuff that i have followed people who run those type of rooms and things like that so um, what you do is like you'll go into these rooms they'll suggest ones for you before you follow people and then once you go in the rooms you can click on people's little circles which I'll show you here and you can subscribe you can follow them so anytime they open up a room um, you'll get a notification um, also you can follow groups which I'll show you on screen as well and those groups will they will um, send you notifications for when uh, chat rooms like that open up so that you can become a part of it um, I did have to turn the clubhouse notifications off because they were just too crazy I was getting notifications at 3 o'clock in the morning and it just was too much but I do still check in on clubhouse from time to time to check out a few rooms I've been on there for about three months and some things that I have learned and I think that will help you along your journey with clubhouse is this um, definitely do the clubhouse orientation they usually have a founder in there and then founders of like other brands in the room and they just talk to you about like what clubhouse it has what experiences have they had and they kind of talk they kind of talk about the oprah experience where they were in rooms and it was his random username and then they heard that person came up on the stage and it was oprah and they were she was talking they didn't know who she was by her username but they knew her voice so that's the story that you'll probably hear once you do the orientation um 
so that's great definitely 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 like i said have a good profile picture state your stats don't over inflate them because it's going to be able to allow you to network up network down and network laterally and not be in a position where people think you're here and you're there and they are like why are you asking questions if you're already here so i think that's personally a good place to be at to kind of be on open and honest about what you do so that you can get good uh net you can network well and get good information from people on clubhouse now the one thing and i'm looking at my notes over here guys the one thing that i want to say is that a lot of people use clubhouse for networking for entrepreneurship tips for tips about growing money financial tips all that kind of stuff and i want to say guys fact checked and check the credentials of the people who are telling you this information because anyone can open up a clubhouse room you can just sit start a room as long as you're there and you can say how to turn ten dollars into a million dollars and you've never done it so and you don't have to know how people literally do it all the time they open these groups and they have no credentials to be giving people advice on this type of stuff and i want to tell you my story i'll tell it really quickly and this is what kind of opened my eyes to say, you know what, I always do fact check, but sometimes you have to kind of, some things make you realize that more than others. So I was in a YouTuber's room on Clubhouse and there was a moderator who had about 50,000 subscribers and there was another co-moderator who had said she had been on YouTube for 10 years and had 100,000 subscribers. And I said, okay, cool. You know, that's good. There were a few people in the audience who actually had more subscribers and were a lot more humble and open and honest. But anywho, so the moderator of the group, she was really well. She was holding a conversation well, moving the conversation forward, updating people on what the room was about um and the co-moderator kind of was like talking down to people and not being so polite um so i was listening into the room and honestly they were like they were using their stats as a way to say that i'm here on youtube you should listen to me um but the advice that they were giving was all very surface level advice and very old advice like okay well just post every day and you'll get subscribers and and that's really not true like there was no um information about trends there was no information about you know just a lot of stuff that there was no information about that super simple starter youtuber information so i said okay you know i'm still listening i'm learning a few things here and there i'm i'm, I'm still engaged um so then i come up on stage because the one girl she kept flexing her stats i'm a youtuber for 10 years I have a hundred thousand subscribers on and on and on i said okay let me ask a question so i said this is where i'm at in my youtube career i strategically done these things now i want to start um now when should i start trying to get brand deals and she said her answer was yesterday like you should have been doing that i said okay understandable i wanted to get to a certain spot so that i could charge a certain thing this is what i'm thinking i didn't tell her this but i want to get to a certain spot on youtube so i can charge a certain thing so it'd be worth my time with doing brand deals and i also wanted to build trust with my subscribers so they know that if i am doing a brand deal it's not just because i want money it's literally because this is something that i believe in and that i enjoy that i use and now i want to share it with you guys so it didn't say that to her, but that's what I'm thinking. So then my follow up question was, okay, if I'm, you've been on YouTube for 10 years, how do I go about getting brand deals? And her response to me was, I don't reach out to people, but brands, brands reach out to me. She's like, I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't reach out to brands. They reach out to me. Understandable. Totally get it. But there's not one brand in this world that hasn't reached out to you that you would like to work with personally that you haven't, um, you haven't proposed a brand deal uh what can i think <laughs> that you haven't proposed a brand deal with like first of all that's doing yourself a disservice if you only reach out to people that reach out to you um but anywho that's that's my thoughts on it so i said okay that was her response and then the moderator of the group said okay well how do you think we should go about that oh i don't know how to do that but i can link you with people who who do know how to do it never never was any follow-up or anything so i said you know what let me go on her youtube let me check out her instagram let me see what type of brand deals that she does how she does them um because if so many people are reaching out to her obviously she's doing a good job and maybe i can learn some tips from her youtube and her instagram i went through i would say about 30 of her most recent youtube videos and 30 video or maybe 40 even and those that took me back 
four years, three years, not a brand deal on in no sponsorships, no nothing on any of those videos. I said, okay, maybe she was really, ref even though this is a YouTube group, maybe she's referring to Instagram. Let me go check out her Instagram. There wasn't even a Fashion Nova post. And you know Fashion Nova gets all the girls together with the, the sponsorship deals. I said, okay. So not only were you, were you rude, but you didn't have the credentials to be giving me advice anyway. So that is my story to just say, check fact check and credential check these people that you're getting this information from and don't take something that you heard on Clubhouse and run with it before you fact check because you could be left in a bad spot listening to people who know less than you okay and just because and also just because someone is doing something for a long time doesn't mean that they're doing it well <laughs> so that just my little story of how you can definitely find some great things in clubhouse but anyone can start a room one and you definitely need to fact check and credential check the people that you are getting information from because it could be bob the builder teaching people how to do makeup you see what i'm saying he doesn't know how to do it. he builds he's bob the builder so definitely 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 make sure that you fact check people who are um that are <clears throat> the host of these groups because like i said anyone can start a group um invites so like i said clubhouse is in beta testing right now so you have to have an invite to get into clubhouse so with that being said i have three invites that i have left that my family my friends everyone's pretty much in who wants to be a part of clubhouse and so now i'm going to be gifting that guys gifting that guys <laughs> i was see i was already let's do that again i will be gifting that those invites to you guys so the only thing i want you to do is just like this video and comment down below why you want to be on clubhouse and what you're going to use it for uh, because what happens is if i invite you on clubhouse i'll show you here you will be a part of my network it will show you that i, I invited you to clubhouse and y'all can't just be running them up on there connected to me okay <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm pretty sure nobody who watches my videos, like I don't even get any negative comments. So I know you guys are great. Um, the only thing I do want to say is that to, in order for me to invite you to Clubhouse, I do have to have your phone number. So if you're not comfortable with sharing that, then I'm sorry, but that is going to be how um, that is going to be how it works out. So what I will do is I will be sending you a message on YouTube. Um, with and asking you for your phone number if you are one of the three winners i will update that on the, my next video i will start out with who are the winners just so you guys can know i'll put your usernames up there please reach out and i will go ahead and get your phone numbers and add you to clubhouse uh, because if you are still on the waiting list and you haven't been invited yet it's on its way from your girl so i hope this video was helpful thank you guys for watching um like i said clubhouse is great just keep keep chugging on and doing the right things and <laughs> i don't know i just felt like i needed to close this video out with like reiterating stuff but i'm just gonna go at this point because i'm just chatting so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one <laughs>